Yeah, this is the old jail. This is where they hung a bunch of Irish people. They thought they were in a cult or something. Or just like a secret society where they claimed that they were conspiring against the... Uh, I think like they thought they were they were like gonna be violent or something so they they actually sentenced them to death and executed them but then later on it was discovered that maybe they wouldn't they weren't even in this like secret society that they thought and they were just like senselessly murdered so this is uh, known to be haunted and you could they have tours you can take but uh, I don't think we're gonna do it today but it's pretty cool it's, they still have like the gallows and stuff in there where they hung people This B&B is in the oldest building in town. They have a cute little garden back there. Point. There's the opera house, Mock Chunk Opera House. <laughs> oh yeah, this year is the town's bicentennial. Yeah. I'm not sure that I don't have price tags on all this stuff. Yeah. We're in this cute vintage slash art store. <laughs> They actually print the stuff here. This place prints like really cute cards and stuff. It's like uh, Back to the Future, like when they have the 80s bar. There's a cute can little candy store. You want to go in here? It says nostalgic candy.
this is the it's either the Azza Packer Mansion or the Harry Packer Mansion. I think this one's the Azza Packer Mansion. Yeah. That one's the Azza Packer, that one's the Harry Packer Mansion. What is this? You have to walk up a big hill to get up here. I'm pretty sure you can stay at this one. Yeah, overnight lodging. And they have a murder mystery weekend thing here. But this one looks like, uh, kind of looks like the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. And this is the little park across from the mansions. It's called Kemmler Park. Or Kemmerer Kem Park. It's just a little park. There's a kid's playground over there. This is a park with a trail. Yeah. It's nice and relaxing back here. Yeah, Jim Thorpe is a really nice place. I've been wanting to come here for years, but just never got around to it. Till now. But yeah, it's really cool. Tonight we're going to the drive-ins at Mahoning. Mahoning Drive-In. Uh, so yeah, we came here for the weekend, for Labor Day weekend. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to our hotel now, and uh, then later tonight we're going to the drive-ins. We're gonna go see, they have like this thing called Real Weird Weekend, where they're playing like weird cult films. And tonight it's uh, the movie Zardoz, and uh, what's the other one? Boy and His Dog. So that should be cool. Two sci-fi films from the 70s. Both movies that I like a lot, and then tomorrow, and then uh, yeah, tomorrow Labor Day, we're going to Knobles. That's that's gonna be cool. Somebody didn't want to walk up the stairs. I thought I liked this better than like a small height of buggy riding. The whole yeah, town is surrounded by these mountains. And there's the Jim Thorpe Inn. This is the main hotel in town. They have like uh, New Orleans style balconies. Looks like a really cool place to stay. Yeah, these buildings are really cool. Seems cool. The windows on the side. I don't know what that's called. Like when the wind. Do you know what that's called? Like when the windows are like on the corner of the building like that. They like stick out. It's like San Francisco or something. <laughs> place is really cool. Alice in Wonderland theme. Yeah, they Cheshire Cat. <laughs> this place is so cute. Look at the tables. It's really cute in here.
There's another B&B in a really cute building. Somebody's setting off some firecrackers. barbed wire up there so that was Jim Thorpe that was my first time there really cute town if you like his like historical stuff there's a lot of that and there's some cute shops and antique stores and stuff like that restaurants bed and breakfast I'm here at uh, Jim Thorpe's uh, gravesite memorial. He was a athlete who died in 1953, and they changed the name of Mock Chunk, which is a town that we're at right now. Uh, they changed the name from Mock Chunk, Pennsylvania, to Jim Thorpe. And this is where he's buried. They have a few statues over here. There's that one over there. And he was a football player and a discus thrower in the Olympics, I think. Yeah, 1912 Olympics. He did the, he got first place in several decathlon things. First place in discus. Flagstaff Mountain, uh, and is this Lehighton or is this Jim Thorpe? I don't know, it's, I think it's in between Jim Thorpe and Lehighton, but you can see Jim Thorpe from the top, and it's apparently a hundred miles, you can see for a hundred miles. It's probably not clear enough to see that far, but it's still pretty far. Yeah. Pretty good overlook. Usually you have to hike really far to get the overlooks like this. It's 1,450 feet elevation. Looks like they're going to be putting some real estate here and and uh, vineyards or winery. Okay, that's actually Lee Highton down there. I thought it was Jim Thorpe. I'm here at the Flagstaff Mountain Overlook, and it on the other side of the mountain there's a nuts, there's a separate overlook where you can actually see Jim Thorpe down there. That's what I thought we were looking at on the other side, but that was actually Lee Highton, and there, that's Jim Thorpe there. There's the historic, I think that's the historic district over there. So 
So yeah, this is a pretty good view up here too. I believe this is a hotel over here. So if you wanted to stay at a hotel with a good view, let's go over here. Flagstaff, heroic. So yeah, that was uh, Jim Thorpe. Pretty cool place. You definitely gotta check it out if you're in the historic places. And if you're in the Poconos, you got, I mean, it's definitely one of the coolest places in the Poconos. So yeah, get over here, go to the Flagstaff Mountain, check out the towns from the highest overlooks and go see all the historic buildings.